This isn't just a science project. We are changing the ways that people use space. In June, this peculiarly shaped satellite will be in outer space. It's the first time a satellite designed by the University of Manitoba has been selected. It will be in space for about two to three years and eventually it will lower itself in orbit and burn up in the atmosphere. But, uh, but as soon as it leaves the space station, it starts a 30 minute, what we call a 30 minute hold, and then it pops out its solar panels and faces the sun. It shoots out a little antenna that's literally a piece of a measuring tape right from Home Depot with the numbers still on it. It points that at the ground, it phones home, and we start doing science right away. This is a CubeSat named IRIS. Manitoba's contribution to the Canadian CubeSat program started in 2018 by the Canadian Space Agency. Philip Ferguson, mechanical engineering professor at the University of Manitoba, says this space-bound block only costs about 10 grand to make and was made with the help of about 60 students, including those at the University of Winnipeg, York University, and even youth from the Interlake School Division. Let's develop the requirements for a satellite. Let's build the satellite. Let's test it. And then let's operate it. That's a whole new level of learning. It's honestly very unreal and I think we're all really excited and like nervous about it. I think until we're able to actually communicate with Iris um, in orbit, we're going to be kind of eagerly waiting for that to happen. Alina Toyjanov is a mechanical engineering student at U of M who had an integral job working on the satellite. She designed the math that allows Iris to control itself and has been hired on by Magellan Aerospace. It would grab a bunch of sensor readings from the sun sensors to gyro weights and the magnetometers and you have to come up with some kind of algorithm to tell it what to do with that, um, you know, how to slow itself down, what kind of commands to send to the actuators to make the mission successful. The mission is to study how space conditions affect the composition of asteroids and the moon so that researchers on Earth can better understand those effects on meteorites. This satellite is already filled with space rocks that they're sending back up to study. When they photograph the rocks, they'll be able to tell the sun's position through a sundial created by students in a grade 7 to 8 science club. Goosebumps is the only way I can describe it, that they get to send something to space and it's going to be part of history and there's going to be science data to prove that they actually did this and they can pass this along to their kids and their friends and it's just really, really thrilling. Iris heads up in June on a SpaceX rocket and will be fired out of the International Space Station. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.